super hot today. I think it's 97 and it is very humid for California. We are not used to this humidity and it's also windy, which is really weird. Californians are not used to this. <laughs> so I've got this whole tote of stuff that I want to share with you guys and to make cleaning and maintenance easier. Um, just stuff that you can find to keep in your garage or your commissary or wherever to make cleaning easier. Microfiber towels. If you're not already using these, I highly recommend switching to these. They work just a little bit better than t-shirts and those terry cloth rags because those terry cloth towels will leave like fibers behind. And these are a lot better about not doing that. Plus they kind of have like a, like a magnetic quality to them. So dirt just really sticks to them. And I find that when I'm cleaning my gear um you know you want to try to get like the top layer of dust and dirt off and then when you want to basically go back and shine it or use stainless steel cleaner on it or the plexiglass cleaner or whatever you want to use this uh, because this is going to get you the best results stainless steel cleaner you can probably get this from just about anywhere this is wyman brand i get this from sam's club they sell it in like a three pack and again get all the dust, dirt, grime food off, whatever before, and then go back with a microfiber towel and spray your equipment down and use this and your stainless steel will look brand new. I mean, it's not gonna take scratches out or anything, but it'll definitely make them, minimize them quite a bit. My husband really likes this Adams Detail Spray. If you don't have stainless steel cleaner or maybe if your cart is not entirely of stainless steel or you have some other kind of surface, this also works really well for like the menu board or um, even your tow vehicle. Uh, this is just kind of an all-purpose cleaner for painted surfaces that you don't want to use any kind of erosive cleaner on. It's stuff that is, it's really like safe for surfaces that you want to keep nice and shiny. I use this for my plexiglass. I know not everybody in the country is required to have like an enclosure over their cooking area but in california we are and so probably most i would say most food facilities probably have like a metal enclosure some kind of aluminum or stainless steel but out here it's okay for us to use plexiglass and i know that probably a lot of food trucks have um on their window they have a couple of service windows cut into a big piece of plexiglass so cleaning any kind of see-through plastic that you want to look nice and you want it to keep it nice uh, use this. This is Brilliant Eyes. I bought this at Tap Plastics in Concord, which is where I get my plexiglass done. But um, you can probably find this on Amazon. It says there's a website on it, www.brilliantize.com. You can probably find that. Or just Google some kind of uh, plastic cleaner or polycarbonate cleaner, whatever it's called. <laughs> It says anti-static, ammonia-free, alcohol-free because you never want to use anything that has alcohol or ammonia in it on uh, your plastic or plexiglass surfaces because over time it will take off the surface of them and cause them to become cloudy. I have, uh, I put that plexiglass on there in, I believe 2018. So it is now four years old. And aside from the cracks that I showed you earlier, let me show you just how clean and clear it still is even after four years. If it wasn't for the reflection that you can see in the glass, you would barely even know that there was glass there. It is very clear, it still looks brand new other than those stupid cracks in there because it was off in size by a quarter of an inch. The plexiglass is another thing that we would have liked to replace this year, but unfortunately we just don't have the time to get the new piece made and drill all the holes, mount the trim, put new insulation around it. It's just a really long process. It took me, I think it took us at least a week to get it done last time. And we just don't have that kind of time. These are my little plastic corner protectors that I buy um, to keep the little kids from whacking their heads on the corners of my cart. Um, I'm also pretty clumsy and tend to try to make things uh, protect sharp edges and corners even from myself because I will end up whacking something with my arm or cutting my hand open because I'm moving fast and not paying attention and um, so these are great for that too if you have 
a lot of sharp corners and um, edges on your cart or even food truck or whatever that you're trying to protect yourself from. I think I got these on Amazon a few years ago. You can probably find something similar. They all look about the same. These are the lights that we use. Um, LE Pro? Lepro? I don't know. But they're not too expensive. I think the 16 and a half foot strip is uh, about 17 or 18 dollars on Amazon and then the 30 foot strip is $30. That's the one I just bought. I'll have to post another video when we get the light strip um, installed inside the cart so you can see how it looks. The adhesive, I wasn't super sure at first. We ended up actually putting metal brackets on it the first time we installed them because I wasn't sure the adhesive was going to stick. But surprisingly, the adhesive on this is fantastic. I And it really doesn't leave any residue either. If you're starting with a clean surface, so take a wet cloth or something, I whatever, wet wipe, um, clean the surface that you're going to attach it to so there's not any loose dust on it. And you'd be surprised. Mine stuck, I think, for... I think a year and a half or two years, something like that, and really didn't have any issues with them coming off. The issues that I had with them were from employees um, accidentally ripping off either end or ripping them in the middle and because they are like a metal slash plastic kind of strip that's pretty delicate. So if you, it's not like, these are not like a plastic protected coated strip they're pretty uh dainty so if you stick them on something that's going to get a lot of abuse it's not really going to work super well you kind of need to put them in a place where they're not going to have to move too much and they're not going to get whacked around and smacked and um uh set down on a metal bracket so that it can just cut it right in half so uh as long as you treat these nicely they work really well and um you know they'll stick forever i, I would imagine for several years uh, and you're definitely going to break them before they're going to unstick. So uh, I really like those. They're pretty cheap as opposed to buying some kind of massively expensive installed spotlight or I, I don't even know what kind of lighting food trucks use these days. But those are super great. Plus, because they're LEDs, they don't use a lot of power. So I can plug them in and they'll stay on. I mean, I don't even know what the runtime is on them, but... Um, they don't really make a dent in my in my battery while I'm using my fridge like you I could probably leave them on for a couple of days and I think they would not still not drain the battery um, that's one thing I really love about those for cleaning stuff I love this stuff Dawn power wash I mean you could use simple green you could use any other standard restaurant degreaser but in terms of getting into small spaces and foaming up and really doing the trick and doing it fast, this is the way to go. It cuts grease. I don't, I'm sure you know this about Dawn. Um, Dawn is basically a degreaser. So you use it on your dishes for a reason because it gets the grease off of your dishes. If you ever notice, if you've washed dishes for a long period of time, your hands get really dry and it takes all of the oil off of your hands. So this is degreaser and it takes oil off and I, I use it for everything that I can because it is super easy. Not to mention you can spray it on, you can spray it into anywhere you need to and you don't have to rinse it. You can but you don't have to. You can use a wet towel to get it all off. You can use a dry towel to get it all off. You can rinse it. You can do whatever you want. This is just one of the most versatile cleaners that I've ever found and I love that it foams and it spreads around really easy. It gets into small spaces. This is my absolute favorite thing to use to clean. Not to mention, it doesn't have any ammonia in it, it doesn't have any alcohol in it, so it's really not damaging to any of my stuff. So I love this. I always have toothbrushes laying around. We'll get into the really small spaces and you can clean it back into tiny nooks and crannies that you can't necessarily get a towel to reach into. Um, I really like old toothbrushes as a cleaning tool. I know it's kind of crazy. People might think it's wild that uh, I'm willing to actually scrub my cart with a toothbrush, but it, it really makes a difference on our cleanliness level. And we really pride our, ourselves on keeping our facilities a level of clean that make people feel comfortable eating mobile food because there is kind of a stigma on food trucks or mobile food that, you know, mobile food vendors are dirty or, you know, they don't keep as clean of a kitchen as a restaurant. But I'm here to tell you that's not true anymore especially not with hot dog cart vendors and we are extreme clean fanatics so ask any of my employees what my favorite thing to do is it's clean when they don't have anything to do clean 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 half of my job is making lists of stuff for them to clean so 
that's what we do with the toothbrush and then the scotch bright sponges um these are <laughs> I learned the hard way a few years ago that Scotch-Brite pads are actually more like sandpaper and um, do not use them on glass or stainless steel because they will put little tiny little scratches in them. I used a Scotch-Brite pad on the windshield of my brand new 2014 Sierra and um, I thought I was doing this great thing getting my windshield clean um, standing on my stool and and getting it all done and and when I when I stopped I realized that I had made a huge mistake and I had put scratches in my windshield <laughs> my husband was not happy <laughs> um, so use those only for things that you are not worried about scratching for example maybe plastics or uh, the inside of dishes but definitely not on like your stainless steel surfaces that you want to stay nice or um, glass so that's kind of just some of my favorite tools that I keep around. Um, I know this one's kind of out of the ordinary, but I wear flip flops every single day of my life. I did not start my own business and become my own boss to have um, somebody tell me what it's okay for me to wear on my feet. I wear whatever I want, whenever I want, and flip flops are my favorite. This is my choice of footwear. My feet do not go anywhere near the cooking surfaces. I am not flinging my feet up and sweat getting anywhere near food. It's totally crazy to me that people have a huge problem with um, people cooking in flip flops. It makes absolutely no difference to me. Your feet are nowhere near the food and if they are you have bigger problems than just wearing flip flops. But my dog chewed these ones so badly I cannot wear them anymore. So sad day but these are foam Birkenstocks they have the perfect amount of arch support for me it's really important for me to wear um, shoes with arch support in them I have had plantar fasciitis in the past and it definitely makes a huge difference on the back pain at the end of the day I mean if, if you if you've been in this industry for any amount of time and you spent even one day on your feet in the wrong shoes you know you need to get good shoes so these are what I choose to wear because they're open-toed, um, they keep my feet cool, and they have arch support. They're comfortable. I can throw them in the washing machine. That's my favorite part. I throw these in the washing machine, and they're good as new. Uh, so that's what I wear every day on my feet. But now that those are chewed, I did break down and buy myself a pair of Crocs. I'm looking forward to trying them out and seeing if they are everything that they are crocked up to be. But I won't know until a couple of weeks from now. So if you see me in a future video wearing Crocs, ask me how they are, I'll let you know. But I've definitely been having some issues with my back. So maybe it's time to switch shoes anyway. Ooh, I have another good one. I can't believe I didn't think of this before I started filming in this heat, but this is a thing I cannot live without in the summer. This is a thing that makes my job and my life better, period. Cooling towels. You can find these probably just about anywhere, Amazon, Walmart, um, Target, I don't know, just, I don't even know where to tell you to look for them. I buy ev almost everything easy, small on Amazon and they ship it to my house. And while I would like to buy things locally, and we do try to do that as often as possible. Sometimes the lack of time to just go browsing and shopping is um, just the reason that we do have to use Amazon for just about everything. So we're thankful that it exists. We're thankful that most of the stuff is pretty inexpensive that we need. So I buy these, these are cooling towels. If you can see the texture, they have these little holes in them. So what you do, is you put some really cold water on these and you take them and you kind of spread them out like this and give them a little snap or you can do it like that whatever you want but basically what happens is all the cold air goes through these little holes and it cools this towel down immediately you put it around your neck and that really hot sweaty spot on the back of your neck is cooled down Put it around there wear it that way you can tie it do whatever you want put it on your head i mean sometimes i walk in to this the concession stand and my employees are sitting there with a wet towel on their head like this and i just say what's up mother mary or <laughs> whatever but this 
is a lifesaver in the heat. Oh my gosh, you'd be amazed how much difference it makes. And then all you have to do is get it wet again and it's just back down to as cool as it was first. Probably have to wet it every 10 or 15 minutes um, to keep it really nice. We had um, our friend Mary put these great logos on ours so that anytime our employees are wearing them, they know that we sell them also, but these are fantastic. Try it out. If you don't believe me, I mean, you won't be a believer until you try it, but this is the best thing ever. So that's about all the things I can't live without and that I use on a regular basis to clean all my stuff and keep everything tip top shape. And the hot dog cart has a few things that we would like to upgrade and change, but for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. It's looking really nice and I'm really looking forward to uh, bringing it out for the next event. Thank you.